welcome to Behind the Science, where we ask challenging questions directly to the scientists who are trying to solve today's toughest problems. I'm your host, Jennifer Fournier. Today, I'm at the grocery store, looking for ingredients for my next masterpiece. They happen to be doing a seminar here on digestive health, which I think is very interesting. Let me share with you a fact I learned. Digestion is the process of breaking down macromolecules into micromolecules and being able to gain access to nutritional value, caloric content, vitamins, and minerals. Your digestive tract is a master at this, whether you supply it with food that's raw or cooked. Cooking sometimes grants easier access to nutrients, but overcooking can destroy some too. It reminded me of the protein digestion I did at work today. In addition to the enzyme, I added reagents to aid in the complete digestion of the protein, such as surfactants to relax the protein structure, making it accessible to those enzymes. I wouldn't say my method is as slick or efficient as our digestive tract. Maybe there are tools and tricks that can help make this more efficient. In this episode of Behind the Science, let's dive into the topic of protein digestions. I have a gut feeling this will be a great episode. Hey, Jen, what are you doing? Hi, Ching. I'm doing some protein digestions. Oh, you know we're going to have group meeting pretty soon. Oh, my goodness. I lost track of time. There's so many steps. It's taking me forever. And in the end, I'm using it on the MS system, and I'm not even sure if the reagents I have are MS compatible. Oh, I, I see. Have you uh, used this uh, rapid just sur surfactant? No, I had not used that. Um, I use this to assist my protein digestion, and it's uh, uh, enzyme-friendly. Okay. Surfactant. So if you use trypsin, lysine, glucine, or um, PNG, SEF, this can really speed up the digestion. And uh, it's also MS friendly. You don't generate those uh, byproducts that okay. can interfere with MS back. Great. It sounds like just what I need. Do you mind if I take this? Sure. All right. I'm going to use this, and I should be able to get there in about 10 minutes. Good luck, and All I'll right. see you in 10 minutes. Thank you. So as I look to gather more information, I'm finding that the common strategy is to digest proteins with enzymes and analyze resulting peptides via mass spec methods. However, common denaturants, such as SDS and urea, I'm finding are disruptive to enzymatic activity and they interfere with the mass spec. Surfactants are commonly used to disrupt the aggregation of hydrophobic biomolecules prior to enzymatic digestions, as seen in this example with PNJSF enzyme. So what could be my alternative for surfactant if I didn't want to use SDS or urea, for example? Well, Ing Chang pointed me into the direction of Rapigest SF, and as I read, I find that this is a novel mass spec compatible denaturant, and it aids in enzymatic digestion of proteins. But unlike SDS and urea, this denaturant has been shown to be compatible with various enzymes. Drastic improvements of protein digestions in terms of speed and peptide recovery have been observed. So Rapigest SF surfactant rapidly breaks down to MALDI and LCMS non-interfering products under low pH conditions, and this provides an additional advantage for MS characterization of proteins and peptides. I am so glad that Ing Ching came in just in the nick of time as I was doing this protein digest. And Rapigest is exactly what I needed. Uh-oh, I'm late for the group meeting. All right, gotta run. They tell me there is a strong link between our gut and our emotions. I think we just saw that there is also a strong link between sample preparation and our instrumentation in the lab. Just as choosing smart ingredients for our digestive tract is important for our health, choosing smart reagents in the lab allows us to improve speed, completeness of protein enzymatic digestions, and they are important for the health of our instrumentation. Check out the links below to learn more about the different applications using Rapigest surfactant. And join us next time as we go behind the science to ask the question, can these protein digestion protocols with many steps be successfully standardized for protein quantification workflows?